Hi, it's Case. Welcome or welcome back to Jupiter Thursday. Yes, it is the member's choice. Mm -hmm. And um, Carly C. Vivian, I got your back. Pinky's up. Her question is the karmic partner. So we're going to delve into that because we know that Thursday, um, Jupiter Day, is about truth and expansion. So we will be getting to the core. Also, I can't get on my clinician's jacket today because I've got on my sheep's onesie. I've got to get jiggy with the paintbrush. Don't you know? Mm -hmm. When I first move in, moved into my um, new domicile, my palace on the hill, I went a bit crazy with the cover, colors. After being 17 years a slave, I wanted color everywhere. And now I realize how wrong I was. So I'm going to be doing everything over in white. I might even give you a quick walkthrough so you can see. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'll see, I'll see, don't force me. Anyway, let's get my eyes on. Very happy today, always happy. Okay, let's get the planetary energies. A, conjun a conjunction between the moon and Neptune could make waking up difficult today. So try not to hit the snooze button too many times. Who did that? I was up with the crack of dawn, but I didn't get out of bed. Mm -mm. Had I'm two mockers in. So I was snoozing too this morning, trying to avoid the paintbrush. get jiggy with the brush trust and believe anyway the energy will be light and lofty giving you giving you an opportunity to enjoy a stress-free morning as long as you don't sleep too late avoiding everything there's always time to improve on yourself and your domicile put your energy and love into that my Phoenician. Mm -hmm. A pleasant aspect between the moon and Jupiter offers a boost in optimism. So be sure to spread joy around you as you move through your day. If you are especially empathic, people may come to you for healing through conversation. Yes, your friends, your soul family, the ones that you talk to, they're going to be coming to you for advice and healing. You know, they'll be picking your mind for your actions. Give it to them, babe. Give it to them. I mean, I mean in the nicest, nicest way. Mm -hmm. But you have to make sure you set boundaries for yourself. Don't take on too much of that energy. And cut the conversation short. You've got things to do. No time to sit around and hitch. You need to get yippee kai yay up in your shiznay. Mm -hmm. Pluto blows a kiss to the moon. And Neptune today as well, making it a great day to release internal frustration that are no longer serving you. By leaning into transformation and emotional growth, you can evolve both. You can evolve both physically and personally today. It's a great time to daydream for your future. Think big today in terms of your long-term goals. I told you, plan. Jupiter Day is for expansion. Jupiter, fate, destiny, good luck. I'm feeling the Wheel of Fortune. Are you feeling it? Remember, the Wheel of Fortune is a 10. Completion. New beginnings, new ideas. The 10 goes to a 1, don't you know? Pinky's up. Yes, I'm planning to go full on sheep. I'm going to put this on. Zip this up. Got my painting gloves. I'm going to take off my seeing eye. Still got the third one on. For my purse pick ones because that pain ain't gone blind case. No, getting ready for it. 
I have to release it because it's so hot. I'm going to have to have the fan going, all the doors open because I'll be sweating. I'll be sweating. Oh, sorry. Perspiring. Didn't you know? Pinky's up as I sips me mocha. Mm-hmm. The moon shares an aspect with Saturn after midnight, which can help you find structure within your dreams and goals. Jot down a list of things you'd like to do and note how you'll accomplish how you're going to accomplish them. I keep telling you about these journalings, these vision boards, and making firm plans. Mm -hmm. We have the Lion's Gate coming up. We've got another prayer move going on the 8th of August at 4.44 a.m., 4.44 p.m. Lion's Gate is closing. Get you up, baby. This is, this energy, you need to harness it. Set your intentions, write out your goals, burn it. At the 4.44 mark, let the universe know. And don't be shy. With what you ask for. Ask for everything. But it has to be done in integrity. My Phoenician. Because you cannot be asking for gifts. Asking for your gifts and to be guided. If you are not living that life. That Ephesians 613 life. If you are not practicing Matthew 10 14. When you are being disrespected. In mind, body, and soul. You dust off. That's my flip-flop. Sounds like flipper, innit? You dust off your sandals and head out. Energy is everything, my Phoenician. Mm-hmm. Let's get up into this. Right, we're doing the case of the karmic partner. Sorry, I'm going to have to release my arms. Because... I'm sweating like I'm being paid for it. Let me move out of the camera angle. That was too much boobage then. Okay, let me secure what needs to be secure. Tie me arms is up so it don't fall down. Okay. All right, my functions. Let's go in. Let's get these energies up. three anymore. I'm going to pick one. This one. Ooh. I'm not going to be tempted to pull another, so I'll put it far away. Okay. We have a three blank. This domino is tells you that you may, it's about experiencing problems, maybe in the home or the work field, okay? Three is about growth, okay? Stability, it's about your relationships, your initial su success. It brings into mind the empress, the hangman, and the world. The hangman is about seeing things from a different perspective, about whether you're being sacrificed, putting yourself on your own cross. You need to give back the wood, darling. Give back the wood. Mm -hmm. It's not a good omen, but you've been made aware of this. Mm -hmm. So that you can, you are aware of any um, issues or problems that may arise today. Because you have to remember, these issues and problems may be arising through other people's problemos. Remember what we, what I just said. They're going to be wanting healing through conversation. Give it to them. But cut it short, because you have to conserve your energies too, my Venusian. You are a very precious prototype. Always remember that. Pinky is up. Highly sought after. Everybody wants to know how. How do you harness your gangster? Don't tell him. Show him what you're working with. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. We're going to get the energy of the karmic partner. Which deck are we going to use? I'm going to use the after tarot deck. Oh, you want the runes? You really forgot. Mm. 
Shall I show them or shall I not? I'm going to show them. This is Nathis, N-A-U-T-H-I-Z. Okay, it represents the letter N. It also means necessity, need, friction and shadow. As I said, you're going to have people approaching you today for healing through conversation. Okay, they're going to be coming with a lot of shadow side, a lot of negativity, but it is not yours to own. You're going to have to show them how to dispel this negativity. Quick, smart, Matthew 10, 14, over. We've got to act like we're truck drivers giving out this direction. We need a, we need a CB radio. I need a, you know what I need? A portable microphone because I don't think on I get me. Mm -mm. I need a backing track. Yeah, an echo chamber. I'm going to get me one of those microphones that you can make it into an echo chamber so you can feel what I'm saying, Scotty. And you know what I wish I had today? Of all days, I wish I had a beam me up, Scotty, because I would be kidnapping you and you would be dematerializing into my home with a paintbrush in your hand. Hmm. Had to let that one sink in. I would kidnap the lot of you. Mm -hmm. The next one we have is Al Algis. A-L-G-I-Z. It represents the letter Z. This is about protection, divine protection. Didn't I just tell you? Protect your energies today. Mm -hmm. It's also about polarity as well as regeneration. In order to regenerate and ground yourself, have that duality. You can't take on too much of someone else's shadow. Matthew 10, 14. 10, 14. 10, 14. Over. Yes. You have to know how to slide them off. And that's not being mean. You just give them what they need and then you step away. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This is fertility. I always say this is divine feminine energy. This is represented by the letter L. It's water as well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is about um, you living your life, your renewal, your growth. This is about you stepping into your self-worth. This is you tapping into your Kundalini energy. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to teach you the metaphysics of it all, darling, dears. With the astrology, with the knowing thyself. With the speaking up using your words. And you don't need profanity when you use your word. I mean, I know I pepper it sometimes, but that's not my practice. Because when you're telling somebody what you truly think of them, talking plain English, sometimes you have to use the simpleton words. Because you have to realise the audience that you're dealing with. Back those demon bitches off, I say. Mm-hmm. Back them off. Scotty! Okay, I do have some questions. Let's get one energy for this karmic partner. Let's give it a good shofty. Divine Father, Holy Universe. Father God, one stick of dynamite. This karmic partner, you wanted me to see this one? Bebe. They still directing their dark thoughts and intentions at you. My for notion, you need to slip and slide, trot to a spiritual bath. Where is your Psalms 91? This trick, this, this prakala or prakalisha is still directing bull swanky towards you. Now I'm being forced to bring another card up. Where's my stand one? Mm -hmm. Still directing nastiness towards you, putting that big word on you. Now look, I'm being forced to put out three. Right, look! They're trying to destabilize you. 
Mm -hmm. They don't like to see the growth. Okay, all of this fruit is the pearls of wisdom. You see that bird there? That is your higher self. They want you to be blocked from your higher self and this new balance and beginning that you have. I see an ace of wands amongst that, right? Mm -mm. They're extremely selfish. They want everything to be canceled out. They're, they're upset with the ending of the relationship. You ended something with them. You told them to piss off. Scotty. In plain English. Because you know you was dealing with a simpleton. A simpleton. Mm -hmm. But they're still putting that big word on you. Protect yourself, my Phoenician. You can wear your arm. Um, get yourself an evil eye bracelet. Okay? This one here is black tourmaline for negative energies. I've always got a crystal on me. If it's not on a limb, it's in my seat of empress or empresses. Clean off all of that negative energy. You need to clean from the inside out. A lot of um, my male subscribers are saying, but they can't use a yoni egg. Yes, you can. No, I'm not talking about use it there. Get your minds away from that foolishness. No, I would never ad advocate that, the big S. No, that's dog shit. Anyway, no, you can put the, um, when you go to bed at night, you can put it into your underwear, okay? You can get these crystal eggs, get to clear off your seat of empress and empresses. Break all ties. In every realm, my Phoenician. In every realm. Look, 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 look at this. Look at this. Right? This person. All right, this is a scrying mirror. This person has an entity attached to them. They, look, they haven't changed. And they're being driven by forces outside of them. They don't know themselves. They've used whatever they did to try and direct at you. It sticks stuck it on them. Sticks stuck it on them. A lot of them was trying to use mirror magic, looking in the mirror, using incantations around your name. They thought they hit the target, but whatever they're trying to do, it's being destabilized. Why is it being destabilized, right? Because they didn't respect the process. It was not of God. It was not. Look! They went to a back to front healer or whatever ministrations they did. It didn't work. It's brought a lot of heartache and pain on them. They are sitting in karmic retribution. Leave them there. Proper wavy over there. Get tinky winky and run away. Yes, run away. Mm -mm. Stay far, far from that bull swanky, right? Because it would be a burden that you will never be able to put down. Ten of ones in the reverse, don't you know? Mm -mm. This person is stagnant and stuck, unable to release the burdens in their life. They've got little confidence, little self-confidence. So you know that they are high commander. They are deep-seated in their plagiarism of the mind, the Jedi mind tricks. Mm -hmm. Some of them, are the, there's, a, there's a fruit flying here. Let me tell you something. If you feel that you have no, no worth, right? Go to sleep with two fruit flies or one mosquito locked in a room with you. You will know your worth by morning. Yes, baby. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I digress again. Let me move on. As I was saying, with this ten of wands in the reverse, this person um, has taken on too much. They feel imprisoned by the commitments that they have made. This is Sagittarius energy, as well as um, Saturn energy. So their their own foundation is being disturbed. They can't end, end a particular cycle because they're not transforming. Why? Because they have a negative entity attached to them. Because of what they did. They tried to destabilize you. The prototype. 
Try to give it to you without Vaseline. Mm -hmm. Look, can you see the metaphor? A wolf in sheep's clothing, because I told you this is a sheep's onesie. Everything is a sign, my Phoenician. Disrespectful, Matthew 10, 1014. I need a microphone, 1014, over. You're gonna have me on the T-Rex again. Time to throw a stick. See if they'll follow it. Okay. Why was you... Uh, my first question was, why was you attracted to the, the, the karmic partner? It's because this was a 10. You thought that they was going to give you emotional fulfillment. Okay, you had a lot of... Look at this brightly, this fire. You had a lot of passion and fire. You was probably drawn in by your nefer regions. If it was a partnership, a physical partnership, you got into it too quickly. If it was a friendship, you accepted him on face value. You thought they was a star. You thought that they was showing you true emotion. Mm -hmm. This Ten of Cups is represented by um, Gemini energy. as No, sorry, Pisces energy, as well as Mars energy. You didn't was not tapped into your intuition. You didn't know yourself. You didn't know what you brought to the table. What was your mental state? That is the next question on Casey's going to ask. What was my Phoenician's mental state when they got with this, this karmic? If this is not involving your children, we have the Six of Cups. This is all emotional. You was in your feels. You could have been coming off the, coming off. You could have been, how can I put it? Your emotions could have been raw and out there. Because you was coming from a situation that had you on, on your uppers. I'm wanting to say you was coming from a, a, a place of other worth. You was overgiven. You was giving too much. You ran, you ran, you trotted to give them everything. Turned yourself into an empty vessel. Mm -mm. Goodness gracious. I'm not upset with you. You didn't know what you was dealing. You didn't know who he was. I didn't know who I was. Look! This is why they was able to do all that shit to you. Third party situations. Triangulating you with others. People, places and things. All of this emotional energy out here. You was all in your feels. You put too much emotion into the situation. You did not go in there with discernment. You was in a given state. You was a giver up. Mm -hmm. You came in as a supporter, right? And they took your kindness. We're going to see what they did with your kindness in a minute. Why did they mistreat my Phoenician? Why did they mistreat my Phoenician? This one wants to go in the reverse. You've got the Ten of Swords. See, two tens completion. They mistreated you because it was easy. You was compliant, darling. Look at you laying down. What did, what did you stab me in my heart? Did you give me an STD of the body and soul? Okay, dear. Okay, darling. I'm going to give you some more of me. We can work it out. Can. What golly gosh. Ten of souls in the reverse. Don't you know? This is Gemini energy. They sapped, right? Your vitality. I can't wait to show you the future. Yeah, exactly. Everything is assigned. Did you hear what you said? I can't wait to show you the future. I'm showing you what they did to you. Why this karmic partner was so beguiling. They was able to construct and construe plagiarism of the mind. These animals in a kitten meal. They was there, right? This painful experience was there to, to stop you from moving forward, from getting into your prototypedness. This situation had you tied up in your emotions, okay? Making you feel stuck, unable to move forward. I told you, you poured too much into them. You made yourself an almost empty vessel. I need to shuffle my deck again. 
very thin lipped at this moment in time. I'm so glad I've got my hair tied down. Notice, I've got my hair tied down with my battle scarf. A lot of F shit. This card just fell off the top. I believe we must take it for the next question. What was their true feelings about you? I'll get this card that fell on the floor. Baby! Hey, hey! We've got the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Dick dealing. Wishy washy. Okay. This Knight of Cups is water and air energy, right? Their true feelings, they, listen, they didn't want you to leave them because you was always pouring into them while they was pouring into themselves. They drank of their own cup. We already saw the Three of Cups offer out, right? Their true feelings about you, look what was on the base of the deck. We've got two knights, one riding on his back, uh -huh. And the other one on the high. This is how they saw you as the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Earth and air energy. They saw you as efficient, methodical, stable. You was making money moves. Determined. They liked everything about you. That black horse talks about your consistency and your power. Okay? Uh -huh. These are oak leaves. Okay? The oak leaves talks about your strength and your wisdom. You had your armor on because you were so trustworthy and committed to getting jobs done. You knew how to attract the Pentacale. I'm sweating, sweating. This sheep's outfit. Good God, I don't know how I'm going to do the painting with this. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to do it because I'm I'm dependable. And when I get a job, I don't I don't stop until I've finished. I'm a Capricorn. Sun and a Mercury moon and a Mercury, sorry, and a Capricorn Mercury. Mm -hmm. This wishy washy mother foe. Look, they use their mind and their, your emotions to con their emotions to control you. Look at all these cops out here, right? The only Pentacali we see is from you, dear. Mm -mm. They took all of that love that you poured into the situation, right? With their Knight of Cups, right? Skullduggerous nature, Prakala, that loves to ride the horse on his back. Yes, baby, mm-hmm. This person had a lot of one night stands on you. This person should have been a one night stand in your life. Shouldn't even have got that far. Look, sweating in anger. Where's my fan, Scotty? Sweating. Need to get to the core of this heat. Pissed off on all levels, I am. I is. Don't blow away my cards. Yeah, let me put my back into it so it doesn't blow away the cards. Pardon the pun. Mm -hmm. Where's my mocha? I need a big. I need a big sip of this. Mm -mm. Their true intent was to take, 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 and keep on taking until you you were so dry. They was always gonna assault the emotions. And when your emotions is sapped, when somebody has your emotions, you are fodder, you are pliable, you are putty in their hands. Mm-hmm. Right? lesson did my Phoenician need to learn from this oh. oh two just jumped off three. Oh, you know I love threes right come out in threes baby <laughs> oh my god I love the most I so funny you know what you need to learn from that shit you was right to cut it out you would always they would always be triangulating you. This is about you coming out of that mental torment, okay? Freeing yourself. This is your ancestors cutting you free because this person was not a soul mage. This is what you need to learn. Deception 
indicated. <coughs> yes, baby. Mm -hmm. Night two twos, they dis listen, they destabilized you on an emotional level. This is what affected everything. They worked on you with other worth. They went in. The divine was not ramping with that set. Mm -hmm. What is what is this there, Karma? I jumped out. We have the Ace of Cups. What do you mean? Their karma is to be happy? Their karma is to move on? Or did they believe that they, they was gonna have this from you? Look, more emotion. This is what they wanted you to keep on giving. The gift that keeps on giving. I'm not happy about this card. Not. What do you mean? They want my solution to continue to be the gift that keeps on giving. Pouring out to all of that bull swanky. Look! I told you I wasn't happy with it. Even the divine is saying it's a lie. It's a lie. Deception indicated don't. Scotty. Mm-mm. This is the Ace of Swords in the reverse, darling dear. Air energy. You'd be making a wrong decision if you allowed this person to still be in your hemisphere. Mm -mm. That, that means that you would be blinding your eagle that's supposed to be flying high. Having kumquats and steak and Linda McCartney vegetarian sausages. No! It's a lie, it's a lie. It's a lie, it's a lie. It's false, it's for gazy. If they're gonna try and come in with the incoming, trying to offer you, right? Because they're gonna come trying to tug at your heartstrings, trying to get back, put you back in this state. Full of stabation and no healing. Bebe, there's no wood in here. You've given back the cross. Scotty. Mm -mm. They want you in this unhealed state. I'm not even going with another deck. We need to know what's going on with the after tarot deck, right? Divine is saying, put down that burden immediately. You are above all that competition. They're only going to come back and figure out a different way to tell you about your blood clot and keep you in that wavy state. They're coming in. Mm -mm. Prototype health warning. Let me go with the dog whistle. Did you hear that? No? Because you're not meant to. It's for the dogs. Mm -mm. Baby. Mm -mm. Don't get involved. We've got a five in the reverse. This is about you accepting the change and rebuilding. It brings into mind the hierophant and temperance. Right? The Hierophant is my God card. There was no wisdom in this, this situation. You couldn't trust them a fig. You couldn't. There was no balance. They wanted your path to be wavy. Proper wavy. And Freddy Krueger dark. They knew what they was doing. Look at all of these cops. And there you are one, Bender Kelly. Time for some light music interlude. No Pentecalli. The nana money. Look! Everything is funny. Why? Well, look what's underneath that. Because of the rituals. Right? They try to destabilize the high priestess in you, but I say no. I will not take this card in the reverse. I will not. This is not the energy that I want for you, that I intend for you, my Phoenician. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I want you to realize and own your prototypedness. Don't let them drag you back. Scotty, pinkies up. There's no smoke oration. We are not having no holleration or no hateration up in this bitch. Get Mary J. Blige. Pinkies up! I'm giving myself a headache. 
not having it. Not having it. Psalms 91. Have your spiritual bath. Talk that negative energy into the water. Speak it and release it. And think of it no more. Matthew 10, 14. Over. You have to be Peter 5, 8, 10. Be of a sober mind and on the alert. Because you have incoming. Trust and believe. Trying to come and attach you with those negative spirits. Have you all in your in, in your fields? You have an ice box where your heart used to be. Over. Mm -mm. Let's investigate this upside down Knight of Cups. The one that likes to drink of himself. Pardon me, that was a spiritual birth. Excuse me. Mm -mm. Where is my romance angel cards? They're hiding from me. Are you hiding in my bag? No, they're really... Look, they're not in the see-through bag. Where are you? I told you sometimes my cards hide from me. Oh, there it is. I built, I built a tower in the corner. Mm -mm. Okay, Decepticon High Commander. Let me move everything out of the way because you need my full attention. Right? You dragger of the Kundalini energy. Not having this shit. No! Not today, tomorrow, or any other day. Right? What am I doing? This is too, too much. Too, not enough to... You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, that was a lot. That was a lot. Right? They, listen, they're going to try and attract you with your never regions. They're going to try and tug on your carnal nature. Mm -hmm. Right? Religious factors. They're wanting you to have faith the size of a mustard seed. That honeymoon stage that they'll give you, whether it's friend or romantic partner, it's going to be short-lived. It's not going to be a honeymoon month. It's not going to be a honeymoon week. It's not going to be a honeymoon day. It's down to the minutes. It'd be on the wire, right? Because they're not going to be putting nothing into the relationship. They are still a flower. They can be plucked by anyone. Full of shit. Shit and subterfuge, right? Bebe, bra. You need to keep an open mind, right? This person is still interviewing. I told you. Look! They are still drinking of themselves. They still think they're the dog's bullets. Mm-hmm. And they intend to be shined by any, any prakalisha. That is an animal in the kitten seal, the horde. I told you, they're still hobosexual. They're still interviewing. They're still charming the pants of the chicken heads. Let them! Let them! Right? They want to come and get up close and personal and give you a heart to heart with their gingivitis breath. Gingivitis, God knows what they've been eating. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let me get a kipper on this person. We need a kipper on this person, right? Look, this person, right? If they're in a relationship, they are trapped, mentally trapped with a rat. A rat think. Let them stay with the trapation. They don't know how to free themselves. They don't know that they're in their own spiritual imprisonment. Self-imposed. Don't you know? Pinkies up. Right? Was there another flipper or was I... I was tricked. There's no other card that flipped. So we'll see what's on the base. Father God. Some of you, some of you may work on the railway. Um, some may even be in the army or be affiliated with the army. Baby, bring out the big guns for these ones. Where's Nay? Come in, Nay. Baby, this is not the time to put on a wafter and run around your house. You need to be strapped up and ready with three go-to moves. Mm-mm. I can't say anything more. 
Once the father turns up, it's a seven, right? Have faith the size of a mustard seed. Use your memory of an elephant. Reflect. You have a full understanding. This also brings to mind the chariot and the tower. You've been divinely guided to move on, right? Tap into your spiritual powers, right? The tower is the realization of self. You brought everything to the table. Drag it away. Take an axe to that particular table, right? Look! Completion, go on that journey. It's